Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the new navbar. Click on the, the navbar button on the left hand toolbar, and you'll come to a, a the new front screen showing all the de designs available to you. You can see all the way graphic, highlight, JavaScript, speech, standard, tab and traditional. There's quite a number of designs to look through. Uh, graphics, there's eight. Highlight, there's, there's nine to choose from. Um, in the JavaScript, you've got nine plus you've got your vertical combo sitemap and folding. But for this demonstration, we're going to look at the number four block. Here, this is the, the template navbar as the default settings. Next, click navigation type. This tab is the same as in X4. You can see it's choose your site structure you want your navbar to to go by. In appearance, this is this is the new part of the nav navbar settings, where you can change the design of your navbar buttons. On the left, you can see the the different sections you can change. If you look at the background, if you click the button there, these are predefined designs that you could use if you require it. If you don't, click on the pencil to take you into the, the background studio. This one at the moment has got a, a black background, but if you select it, you can change the colour to whatever you like. You can also put a picture onto the background to use. You can also put a style onto the design. Here we have the bevel. If I click this medium bevel, and change the colour, yeah, you can see that a bit better there. And then when you're ready to uh, take that design through, you click Commit Changes, top left. Which will take you back to the Appearance tab. And it will show you, you have that design as the background. If you click on the buttons, this button is transparent, that's why there's no other colours. But if you want to put a colour as the, uh, the button, you can go to the predefined buttons here and choose one of those if you like. Or if not, again, you can go into the, this is the button design studio. If you've seen my button buttons studio uh, tutorial uh, then you'll know all about this this page but if not I'll give you a quick rundown at the bottom you have the button states uh, you have the normal which is the default setting you usually you usually see down hover disabled menu right and menu below to put a color on the background double click background put a shape onto the background like so and you see that it's affected all all the buttons but say you want the 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 hover to have a different color double click hover click a, another design 
put that on. Change his colour, like so. You will notice when I put that quick design on that the text is always on top. You don't have to worry about that. And then you can give this a bevel, like so, make it look like a button. You can also, same as the, the background, you could even put a picture on this uh, instead of the quick shape, or as well as, you can have a little picture here for instance. So you have a change of colour and a picture to show you that you're hovering. The down button, uh, in the navbar system, the down button colour always acts as the, the colour of the current page. So if you want to have a current page colour, you can change that. And Or what we can do here, we can put a circle, for instance, there and we'll see when we go back to this, the, uh, the settings that that will be the the home the, the, the current page commit uh, also obviously you could change the the text um, but if you look at my button studio tutorial it will explain a little bit more on this but basically you can set it, change the colour, change the font and it's uh, formatting pieces here. When you're okay with that you commit to changes and you'll go back again to the left bar settings and you can see on the bottom there that uh, the home is the is the is classed as the current page. Next is pop up as you saw there. The moment it's still the default colours of black. Here, go to the pop up, and then again you can do exactly the same. Going into the into the studio. Just a quick quick thing here there you go okay out and there's the the new nerve bar there double click home about and then see that red spot moving so that's the page that's uh, that's the showing in the in the nerve bar that's a quick demonstration of the the new nav bar system with the, the new new templates to begin with and then the design studios the background and the button to design your navbar uh, how you would like it it is a very good system it's very stable by the looks of things and uh, you'll have a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and i'll do another one again soon okay goodbye